Over 130 species of army ants inhabit the New World. And in Costa Rica, sooner or later you will encounter a swarm of these aggressive hunters invading your space. These active predators of tropical forests are reminiscent of the Mongol hordes, pillaging and destroying all living things in their path, whether their path is in the forest or in your house. Watching army ants invade your house reminds one of an African wildebeest migration scene on television. If you think you can just sweep them out, forget it. You have to accommodate to their agenda. Honey, could you please clean up the kitchen? Looking on the bright side, they clean out all the less desirable species, dismembering them and hauling them off to their bivouac or temporary nest. This wild feeding frenzy encourages other species to flee for their lives, at which time many birds find them easy prey. And there's nothing like a little roach takeout. And then off to pillage some more. Army ant movements are decided by the reproductive rhythm of the queen. While the queen lays eggs and the pupa develop, workers by the thousands hook arms, forming a bivouac, which can last about 20 days. The new workers emerge from the pupa, and the urge to move takes over, and the whole colony becomes nomadic. The queen is huge in comparison to the workers, and despite her all-protein diet, she has an enormous abdomen. Foraging parties of thousands of ants head out during the morning to hunt down other insects and arthropods, bringing them back to the bivouac. These organized foraging swarms represent one of the most complicated collective behaviors of any non-human animal. One ant you won't see is the subterranean army ant. There's a whole world underground, which include the barbarian hordes. Little is known about these ants that can be captured by pit traps baited with tuna fish oil. The ants burrow their way to the trap and then fall into some soapy water. The biologist then sucks them up. No kidding. So this is the soldier, and you can tell it's a soldier because the soldiers are the biggest of the polymorphic workers, and they have very big mandibles.